Hey there, Sharon Horn Nelson here. Welcome to day 1724 of What She Up To Now. Documenting the journey, sharing primarily the business journey as I transitioned originally from the brick and mortar corporate world of business to the online world of business. And now I just hop on and I pretty much share, actually lately I've fallen into the, I'm just sharing the content that I'm, and summarizing the content that I'm sharing on uh, two pages and two groups that I've now become new Facebook profiles, which is a new challenge and a little bit frustrating technologically, uh, especially being visually challenged. Challenges and changes that are super easy for other people to handle, I get a whole extra dose of having to buckle down and figure them out. Buckle down was our idiom for supersize your business today, and we talked about uh, what it means, where it came from, and how you can apply it to building and growing and supersizing your business. And it ties into today's paradox on our annual challenge, the BU 365 day challenge, and that our paradox is the push paradox. The paradox that says the harder you push towards something, the harder it's going to feel to achieve that thing. And then we talk about the law of attraction and how that sometimes we think we're attracting the thing we're desiring and pushing and struggling and, and trying to make happen but we're actually thinking about and focusing on and giving more energy to not having that thing yet than actually feeling the feelings as if we've got the thing already. And that's, that's for me personally, a constant challenge and, uh, to, to figure out and balance the lack of and the having of something. And I, I think someday I'll just think of something and I'll only focus on having it. But for right now, I'm still like so many other people working through the, the limiting beliefs and the false beliefs that run in my subconscious that are blocking the things that I might want. So that probably is, is technology. If I would just let go of any beliefs I have about other platforms and how they should work, I wouldn't get frustrated at all. I would just figure it out. And I'm kind of to that point where whatever happens, I just figure it out. For example, I am recording portrait today because Facebook is doing crazy things. I record on Facebook Live and then I share and disseminate my information to different platforms. And it's it's been really funky all this week. And so today I should just be like, it is another day, it doesn't matter. And it really doesn't because I always figure it out. So I should trust myself to figure it out and not push against what is. It's like pushing against the weather. I am not gonna change the weather as much as I would like to change the weather. I'm not gonna change how other people think and what they believe I can only change what I believe in and my thoughts and feelings and, and behaviors, etc. So we talked about buckling down and how that applies to building and growing and supersizing our business and that a lot of times I've discovered in my life at least that when I'm pushing really hard for something, I need to take a deep breath, take a step back and say, wait a minute, am I working on my business or in my business? Am I expecting things to be different than they actually are? Or am I working with what is and building on the strengths of that to create what it is that I want? We talked about different skills and leadership and things with respect to that. So today, I'm hanging out with my granddaughter and doing some other things. It's the ex's birthday, like that matters. Uh, so the kids will be off doing, doing things with their dad today. If I can help you in any way, ask. I'm gonna continue to work and figure out my technological challenges and other things in life. Have an awesome day, and I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow.